Hello everyone, myself Vasanthi, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Ozur. So today topic is introduction of taxation. So these are the agenda overview of Income Tax Act 1961, objectives of taxation, basic concept and tax system in India. So first what is income tax? Income tax is a financial and legal obligations in India. So all individuals earning certain amount, they are required to pay income tax on the earned income. Definition of income tax. So income tax is a direct tax which is imposed by the government on the income earned by individual business and other entities. Income tax act. So income tax act is in India is governed by the income tax act 1961 but the act came into force on 1st April 1962 only. This act contains 298 sections and 14 schedules. This act will be changing every year with additions and deletions. It will be brought up about by the finance act and it will be passed by the parliament. This act will be power given by the income tax act. The rules are framed for a proper administration of the income tax authorities. So Indian taxation system post independence some reflecting changes in economy. So the replacement of the income tax act 1922 instead of income tax of 1961 is founded. This act will be some changes and they have to be defined the slabs and providing a deductions, exemptions and rebates for your individual tax payers. So next brief of income tax. So the, what are the types of income tax? The type of means the persons. Who are the persons in the income tax? So individual, corporation, other entity like trust, partnership like that. So taxable income. Uh, tax. What are the incomes will be taxable? Wages business profits, rental income, interest, dividends and etc. Progressive taxation means if the if you earned higher income means you have to be pay high tax rate. It will be based on ability to pay. Deduction and exemptions. Some deductions and allowances will be given to the ex uh, individuals, uh, business expenses, education, health care and charitable contributions objectives of taxation first one is revenue generation the fund will be utilized for public services and infrastructures with support government activities and programs so second one is redistribution of wealth the fair distribution of wealth reduce the economic inequalities so third one is economic stability it will be control the inflation and deflation so fourth one is wealth redistributing. The taxes can be used to address the income of inequalities. Fifth one is funding public services. The fund will be used for the services like education, healthcare and infrastructures. Sixth one is inflation control. The tax policies will be influencing spending patterns and affecting the inflation control. So next one is equity. Equity means it will be a fair distribution. The tax burden will be based on ability to pay. If you earned higher income means you have to be pay high tax. If you earned lower income means you have to be pay low tax. So next one is certainty. Certainty means it will be a predictable for your tax. Will be predictable for your tax payers. So last one is convenience. Convenience means it will be convenience to the all taxpayers it will be easy to understand and easy to pay proposed tax structure in india so this will be two types one is direct tax another one is indirect tax direct tax into derived in two types one is income tax second one is wealth tax so indirect tax will be derived in two types one is interstate another one is interstate the interstate will be described to so cgst central goods and the service tax SGST state goods and service tax. So interstate means IGST integrated goods and service tax. What is direct tax? Direct tax means the taxes will be directly imposed on the individual or entities. The tax will be 
directly paid by the individual or entities. Example, income tax, corporate tax, property tax. So next, what is indirect tax? Indirect tax means tax will be lived on the goods and the services. Example, GST, VAT, custom duty and then excise duty. So these are the some differences. So meaning of the direct tax means the tax will be lived on the income based. Where they, they can directly paid to the government is called as a direct tax. So indirect tax means uh, the tax will be lived on the goods or services of a person is collected from the buyers by another person. So paid by him at the government is called a income indirect tax. So next one is evasion. Direct tax is uh, tax evasion is possible but indirect tax, tax evasion is more difficult. Inflations. Indirect tax inflations uh, will be reducing but in income tax they have to be contribute to the inflations. Same we saw in the previous slide. So example of the direct taxes, income tax, wealth tax, capital gain tax. Indirect taxes example is GST and excise duty. So these are the assessment for you. So kindly comment the answer in your comment section. Thank you.